Hey buddy and welcome to part 2 of our The Basics of Copper Cube 5 The 3D engine that allows you to create stuff without learning how to code Even though you can still code in this engine which I highly suggest that you do And which we may actually do uh, eventually So like I said in the last video, the next video, this video was, was going to be how to open up a locked door So what I mean by a locked door is that you need a key card or you need something to actually open up that door. So we're going to open up that file real quick. And I'll demo it real quick. Okay, so this door will not open at all. So we're, what we're going to need is get this key card. Got the key card. And now it will open. It will also close. Open. Close. Okay. So we have the key card and it will open. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So um, in the last video you learned how to import stuff. So I already have the key card here. And to show you I haven't like messed with any of the code. I mean it's, this is the same code from the last video. So I'm just going to make this video. This um, viewing, demo viewing uh, setting a little bit bigger so we can see it. It says me 1024 by 720 uh, vertical synchronization and anti-aliasing there we go so as you can see the keys over here we can't touch it or anything but as soon as we're near the door it will open All right. also um, we need to go to the door and re-edit so distance on both sides are 20 that way it will work properly So you don't have to do that dual distance thing. That's optional. Um, I usually don't end up doing it. So what we actually need to do is select our key. Um, and then say, this is very similar to Construct2 on the fact that once we uh, have something, like say we have an ammo, Okay, on Construct2, we have a global variable. We usually set it to zero if it's like an ammo. And when we have a collision with an object, such as an ammo pack or a health pack, we suddenly have uh, that global variable will change from zero to 20 or 25 or something like that. This is what we're going to do here. So we're going to go to game behavior script. Uh, there we go, behaviors. So we have to actually collide with this object or get near it. So I'm going to say on, prox on proximity to this object, and I'm going to set it to four. The current active camera that will work. Action not set. We're going to set it to variable and text. If a variable has a value, do something. Set or change a variable. I'm going to set a variable, and the variable name will be key one. So I'm going to actually copy that. It's going to be set equal to 1. So we're going to say OK to that. Now I'm also going to set in a different area. So it's not going to automatically activate the door. So I'm going to put it way over here. Where it's not going to activate the door at all. OK, what I'm also going to say is that this key is going to disappear. So what we're going to do is game sound, delete a C node. The C node will be um, select mesh 3. Time until deletion, 4. And now what we need to do is edit our door now. So on, we don't actually have to mess with the second proximity. We want to mess with the first one. So on the first one, we're actually going to say um, on enter radius. We want to say change position of the door, but we actually want to copy it because we still want it to go into that, uh, you know, raising of the door. But we actually want to delete that one. And what we're going to say is variables and text if a variable. So it needs to check to say, OK, uh, we need to make sure that you have the proper credentials to actually access the store. Do you have the key or in, in, in the coding sense, in the variable sense, is your variable equal to this number? If not, it won't open up the door. And uh, in the gaming sense, uh, if it wasn't, uh, uh, what we could do is set it to where it would uh, have a sound, like one of those, you do not have the blue key or you don't have the red key, or it would make so some sort of like uh, canceling sound. 
they usually get from doors. Action. And we want this to be set to change the position of which C node is going to be mesh 1. And we're going to paste where we want the door. It's going to be animated. Yes. So add a new blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, change the position. If a variable has a value, do something. What we can do right now is we can also, I mean, if we wanted to, um, do else, which is what I was talking about. If it's equal to 1, do this. If not, do that, which we can do actually in our next t uh, tutorial quick because I don't have the sound for it. So we're going to set OK. But what you can also do, so it's um, proximity, if a variable, but what we could have also done was set or change variable. No, uh, if a variable. No, uh, this stick to if a variable has a value do something. That's probably the easiest one to do. So what we could do is hit play. Door does not open. The key has disappeared. We have a variable of one. The door will now open. The door will close. The door will now open. Now what you can also do, and what we can also do, is uh, real quickly, um, well, not in this one, but I'll do in the next tutorial, is I will take a screenshot of this, or render it into a 2D image, to where we can put it on the screen to say, hey, we now have this key. Uh, so it's basically going to be a little log of we have green key, we have the blue key, we have the red key. So you can keep track of the keys that you have, or it's more of a um, I have accomplished the green, I have collected the green, red, and blue. I have accessed all these sectors in the game. Uh, next, we're going to be dealing with health and then ammo pickups, health pickups. Uh, of course, we have uh, they're very similar to key pickups, but this was to get us used to actually picking up an item. So next we're going to be dealing with ammo and what happens when we don't have enough ammo. Um, shooting a bullet, uh, switching weapons, uh, bullet effects, once it hit something it will cause an effect, um, NPCs, and then uh, enemy uh, players because we're we're actually going to have a few turret uh, enemies to where they're just automated and you have to destroy them and then NPCs that you can talk to and I want to say a similar RPG sense to where uh, well, I wouldn't say RPG sense but a, 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 some sort of free talk mode to where in some sense you will be able to talk to them it will be scripted and other times you will actually have a choice to either take them apart not take them apart if you don't take them apart they might give you something or they might be helpful down the line and if you do take them apart well you do have stuff right then and there uh, you can't use them later you can't rebuild them you can't build a actual robot because you don't know how to because uh, you don't have that skill set later on and that's actually another thing we're going to get into skill set and uh, our 3d game where we have the ability to build something it's like uh, it's similar to very to variables so again variables are very very uh, necessary in a game they tell the undercode you know what to do if you reach that you know certain variable or a certain number so again guys hit the like button if you like this video hit the subscribe button if you would like to uh, you know be updated on the videos that I release usually they're uh, tutorial videos uh, gameplay videos coming up soon and comment down below on the type of tutorials you would like to see later on in my channel I will also comment on seeing if I can do them right now or pretty soon so I'll see you next time guys and hopefully you are enjoying the series